Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nook Designs and today I wanted to share with you some of the projects that are up on my blog and then also the other projects I've made for the release this month and then I'm going to walk you through the new stamp sets and the new die sets that will be released this month. So first up is this sweet little Newton Nooks card that I've made using the new Newton's Book Club stamp set and I've noticed that movers and shaker dies with the little sliders have been super super popular so I thought it would be fun to create a little mover and shaker and of course it's not going to work on camera but the squeaky little mouse toy is hiding behind the books um, so when the recipient gets it um, the little mouse will pop out. Um, I just thought it was super, super fun. And I have a lot of tricksters in my house, so I thought this was the perfect card to make. I've stamped and embossed all of my images and then watercolored them using my Distress inks. I've added some embossing powder to the glasses and then some Winko Stella along with some white gel pen to the little kitty's cheeks and ears and the nose. Then also open my blog using the new dies that were released yesterday on the blog Adventure Awaits and then we also have the Splendid Stag dies and the new Points and Plumes die set. And this is an interactive card as well. It's a little pop up card. Um, the little TP will stand up, and then I've created a little shaker window underneath. Um, I just love little shakers. I love the little sequins, and then I've stamped the celebrate in some an arrow and some of the little feathers using some lawn fawn inks. Um, so you can see this pops up and just creates a fun little invitation for a birthday or a. This is probably going to be for a sleepover for my nieces. Um, but I just thought it was super, super fun. And um, then I also have the tag that has a greeting on it as well. For more information, you can check out my blog with all the details for how I've made all of my projects at larissaheskettdesigns.blogspot.com. And I've made these sweet little teepee boxes using the bunny die set from Little Inker Designs along with the dual triangle die set and then the new points and plums feather dies along with the Venture Awaits stamp set for all of the detail on my boxes. I thought it would be fun to create one from canvas and then one from some oatmeal cardstock from W plus nine and I love the way these turned out and I just think these would be super 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 cute to give for gifts or for party favors. Um, I know there's lots of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts um, out there so I think these would be super super fun for any type of an event for those and like I said for more information you can check out my blog. I have all of the supplies that I've used. And then also for the Adventure Awaits, I made this card for my brother-in-law for a graduation card. He graduated college, and I just love the idea of using this. This is a little tassel die from my favorite things. And then on the inside, I've used another one of the Points and Plumes arrow dies along with the Adventure Awaits sentiment and some border detailing. And then also the day, the first day of the release we shared the Happy Little Thoughts 
stamp set and this is the card that I made using it and I love the dimension popping that little wreath up so now I'm going to share with you the stamp sets this is the new Newton's book club all of the sweet little Newton images and then I love all of the sentiments a house is not a home without books or cats our story is my favorite which is going to be one of my favorite sentiments curl up with a good book and then we have the read or relax read and repeat and again this is the Newton's book club stamp set and then we have the new adventure awaits stamp set and when I saw this I was just so excited I'm from Nebraska and we love to hunt and fish and do all of that outdoor stuff so this stamp set is totally up my alley I love all of the detailing that are in the images and there's so many different things that you can do with these different techniques and then we also have the splendid stag die set and I haven't gotten to use these yet but I have several ideas sketched out that I hope to share soon and then the points and plumes die set which you get these awesome three arrows and two feathers which I love the stitching detail down the side and just all of the intricate details and then the last stamp and die set is the Happy Little Thoughts stamp set which is this amazing wreath and floral images along with the sentiments I just love all of these And then the coordinating die set that goes along with it, which I don't know about you, but I love having the coordinating dies to go with my stamp sets whenever possible. It's not always economical, but whenever possible, I just think there are so many techniques that you can do using the matching dies. And then I almost forgot I made this sweet little shaker tag using the happy little thoughts, the little image, floral images in there. And this is the new Pretty Pink Posh tag die set. And I found out that the oval opening fits perfectly with these little images to create a wreath um, for a little shaker tag. Um, and then I stamped and um, embossed a sentiment and added the little cute little bow. So again, this is a look at the Newton Nook Designs May Release. Um, and these are all of the fun projects that I've made. I hope you'll go and check out the Newton Nook Design blog for chances to win all of the different stamp sets. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment on the blogs and then check out all the other amazing projects that the other DT girls made. Just awesome. Um, and then I hope you'll check out my blog at larissahesketdesigns.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.